How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to be taking a look at Stronghold Legends Steam Edition or Stronghold Legends SE as it's been abbreviated to. This is the version of Stronghold Legends that has been updated and detached from the Stronghold collection on Steam and it allows multiplayer now. So if you are wanting to play multiplayer, especially in Stronghold Legends, that was not possible for the last couple of years because the GameSpy servers or service was shut down. So now with Stronghold Legends, the Steam edition, it, the game actually is using Steam's multiplayer connectivity to make matches, which is great. We're going to have a lobby that allows public uh, games as well as private ones. But there are some additional changes that I think are worth noting. Right now, I have Stronghold Legends Steam Edition launched. Now this game, I did not buy separately. If you do want to buy it separately, it is $15 it's at full price. Right now it's on sale. But I think $15 is pretty reasonable for a game of its age. Now, if you own the Stronghold collection on Steam, your version of Stronghold Legends in the, from that collection will be upgraded to the Stronghold Legends SE edition. So you're not going to have two versions of Stronghold Legends kicking around. I know some of you might actually like the older version, although there isn't a whole lot more to like. Uh, there are a couple of deficits with the Steam edition that there's some nitpicks, I think, that could definitely be improved on. But um, by and large, it's definitely improved and there are no downsides to that. So if you own the original Stronghold collection of games on Steam, that's Stronghold 2, Stronghold Legends, Stronghold HD, and Stronghold Crusader, I think. Okay, I was going to go ahead and show you the uh, uh, collection, but I couldn't find it apparently. I'm not sure if it's just Steam being stupid or if they actually disbanded it, but there was a collection that was being sold that was previously the only way to get Stronghold Legends on Steam, and if you owned Stronghold Legends from that collection, you're going to be able to upgrade for at no cost. It was about 100 megabyte update, I would say, uh, and then I had the Stronghold Legends Steam Edition, which is great. So let's talk about some of the changes. Uh, right here, you can see this is the new launcher. Now, there are a couple of problems with this, and I was told that this would be fixed. I did uh, update it. Stronghold Legends is currently updated. If you click on Art Book, you get a script error. If you click on Manual, you also get a script error. I'm not sure if this is because my default browser is not um, Internet Explorer, but I'm still getting those errors. And then you basically have a news launcher here, and this is where the Steam Workshop is. So if you go to the Steam Workshop for Stronghold Legends tab right here, you're going to be able to upload new maps, such as going create new, or we could go view portal. Go. There was no easy way to go back. I wish there was. Reset. And okay, there is. Never mind. Uh, clicking reset, and, or we can update existing. I did uh, upload some trial maps that were not mine. And I probably should not have done that, but the point was I wanted to check out to see how the workshop performs, and by and large, it works pretty good uh, when you create a new your app prompted for a map file, and you're prompted for a uh, title, a description, and then an image. I wish you could upload uh, additional images, maybe even a video of it. The only way to do that currently is if you actually go back after the fact, after you publish your creation, and then you can add, you know, you can edit the creation and add additional uh, image files or a video file if you want to do that. So you can do it, obviously, but right now you're limited to one map file image, and you can only upload uh, maps. So in other words, skirmish maps or scenario maps. So here we go, clicking play. And we're going to take a look at the new secondary launcher. So, you know, obviously you have the initial launcher. I do kind of wish these options were placed right in the original launcher. So you could just adjust all these settings right there, but that's just a minor nitpick. And here we have uh, all the settings that the game allows. The windowed mode is actually new, but pretty much everything else here is the same, and I believe they have removed a couple of options here when it comes to textures and whatnot. I'm going to lower this to 8. The game does not run exceptionally well. I have a Core i7-4790K processor and a GTX 970 graphics card, and I will still hit like 20 frames a second in intense situations if I have the settings maxed out. Now, my computer should be able to handle that. And I actually have not checked the resource usage, but I think it is largely a limitation of the game. Maybe it's a 32-bit engine or something. I'm not exactly sure why it is, but you're not going to be seeing good performance in the game just because you have a strong rig that can play modern games. So that's disappointing. But, you know, when it became a Steam edition, I think it should be noted that this is not a remastered edition. There are just some small tweaks and improvements to the overall quality of life for the game, you're not going to be seeing drastically improved uh, art assets inside the game either. I pointed out not as many options here, but then 
I will check windowed mode and I'm going to set this to a smaller resolution so we can actually run it on the desktop. This is actually pretty cool. Now, unfortunately, let's see, we're going to do 60 frames a second. Now, this is interesting, right? Because the game is tied to the, the game frame rate is tied to the game speed. So if you're playing at, you know, game speed of 10, you're going to only get 10 frames per second in the game, even if it is set to 60 frames a second here in the options menu. This is something that I have noticed in the past with Stronghold games, especially the two 3D ones, Stronghold 2 and Stronghold Legends. I'm not sure how Stronghold 3 and Stronghold Crusader 2 perform. I think they don't do that though, because they use a different engine. But in this game, that is definitely the case, and you're not going to be seeing any frame rate above the current speed of your game. So, I'm going to do 1024 by 768 and launch that. Here's another gripe that I have. The game actually takes longer to launch now than it did before. Back in the day, I'd click play, whatever, and the game would be up and running. You'd be seeing a splash screen right now. Th this takes too long to load. I mean, it is loading this screen. How long did that take? That took about 20 seconds just to load this one. It did not used to take that long. It takes longer to load this loading screen than it does to actually load and right here is the new Firefly logo, but it takes longer to actually load the loading screen than it does to load the game, which is really kind of sad and something I definitely consider a downside to the uh, update. And here we have the main menu, Stronghold Legends Remastered. And uh, here's another, this is, was an improvement. Here we have the awards cabinet. You can jump, just jump right to it. It was nice to have that shortcut there. I think it was often... Uh, overlooked otherwise. Now, I don't have any rewards unlocked in this file. I started a new profile, and it should be noted that after I did start that new profile, the game did crash on me once, and I think this might actually be tied to the Steam achievements. I can't be sure about this, but I saw somebody else mention something about it. If you start a new game profile after having a profile that has unlocked achievements, it might crash, and I'm not sure if they're, if they're any way tied together, but I had a different account. Uh, I, my original account had about 30 days of playtime on it. So as you can tell, I do like Stronghold Legends a lot. And uh, this one, uh, I don't have any trophies unlocked yet, but if you do have trophies unlocked, they will, as soon as you enter the trophy room, they will be unlocked on Steam as well. Oh, so Steam is actually being dumb right now and they will not load my achievements in the client. So we're just going to take a look at them here in game. I have 48% of them unlocked so far. And that was from simply entering the awards cabinet right here and it immediately unlocked all of them. So some people might not like that. If you are looking to actually earn the rewards again, you probably want to go ahead and create a new profile first for the game. And this actually ties into another aspect of the game. Here I have my two profiles. Now, the game uses Steam's cloud save features. So it will save your game files to the cloud, as well as any screenshots you took using the built-in screenshot shortcut for Stronghold Legends. Now, this is actually quite interesting. You're limited to one gigabyte for the game, and I actually had 500 megabytes worth of content in my user folders to begin with. So I wanted to delete some of that. Obviously, a lot of uh, images I had no interest in uploading or saving to Steam Cloud. So you might, you might want to check that. It will be in the same folder that uh, the original version of Stronghold Legends saved its data to, the folder inside your documents folder, the, the Stronghold Legends folder inside your documents folder. The Steam Edition also features Steam trading cards as well as all the DLC campaigns. Now, I only think there is one DLC campaign and I have not noticed any additional ones. It is simply a trail of skirmishes that you can get through that was previously available to download on the Firefly Worlds website. So it's great that that's included, but I have not seen any other DLC for the game being included in the Stronghold Legends Steam Edition. I don't think there is anything else, but... Um, you know, there's there's been a lot of ambiguity, in my opinion, around the announcement for the game's launch. Like, we include the DLC mission. Well, which one is it, right? Uh, they did not clarify that in the launch announcement. But I think that covers pretty much everything but multiplayer. So let's take a look at that. Right here, you can see there are currently some games going on, which is pretty cool. I've noticed a lot of them are actually locked, which means, you know, because Stronghold Legends and the Stronghold series at large, but especially more niche titles like Stronghold Legends, generally do not have the interest that the other titles like Stronghold 2 do, you're probably best off joining a group. Now, I have no suggestions for a group, but there are plenty of groups, especially ones that advertise uh, on Steam now and joining them if you're looking for a game or a match of Stronghold Legends to play. I think that would be the overall the most rewarding experience. And toggle chat simply moves you over to Steam chat. Okay, so I'm gonna go back from there. 
and I'm going to jump into a quick game because the bloom issue has been fixed. Now, I noticed some other players talking about this in the past, especially with like Stronghold 2, that the game before it had a bloom issue, which meant that you had to turn bloom off if you wanted the game to look semi decent because it would look very glittery otherwise. Well, guess what? The bloom issue has been fixed, the game looks great. Now the graphics do not look any different in my opinion. I'm not sure if Firefly did any touching up of the graphics here, but to me they look exactly the same, which is okay. I really didn't expect them to improve the graphics any, and it does not look nearly as good as any of the newer titles. But then again, I don't think a lot of people are playing Stronghold games for the graphics alone. It's generally been more gameplay oriented over graphics. Now this is a map that is based on, I think it's actually Team Deathmatch? Yeah, it's actually a 2v2 Team Deathmatch map. Uh, so it's set up with lots of resources and stuff, and I did upload this one to the Steam Workshop, so you can find it and play it if you're interested. It is not my map, as I've pointed out before, but I do like it a lot. It actually gets you going fast and into the game. If you want a fast match, this is probably a map that you would appreciate. So yeah, I, I really think that's pretty much everything. The multiplayer works. Obviously the most significant improvement here, but there have been a, a few other tweaks, uh, a couple of minor things that have gone wrong with it and hopefully can be improved, but... Overall, I do like the new Stronghold Legends Steam Edition. If you were expecting some other sort of review for Stronghold Legends, um, I'm sorry, this one mostly assumed that you knew what Stronghold Legends was in the Stronghold franchise and simply wanted an update on what you could expect from the Steam Edition of the game. Now, if you own the game on disc, like you had a code, you bought the game at launch and you own the game code or you had a code for the game, you might be able to redeem it. I really couldn't make any promises about that. I have not seen anybody successfully redeem or, or report successfully redeeming it so far, but I think if you contact support with your game key, they might honor the game key, but you're not going to be able to redeem your DRM free version of Stronghold Legends. That would be, uh, that would serve no point because you know, if you can buy the DRM free version of Strong the Stronghold collection, you will not be able to upgrade that version of Stronghold Legends to this Steam Edition. So if you are looking to buy Stronghold, do not buy the DRM free version if you want the Steam Edition. Uh, it's pretty much as simple as that. So that's pretty much my thoughts and opinions on Stronghold Legends Steam Edition, but I'd be interested in hearing yours. Are you happy with the update? Is it what you expected? What was missing? Was there something else you wanted to see but didn't? I'd be happy to hear from you. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.